involute of a pentagon. In this video, we will learn how to draw an involute of a pentagon. Let's understand what is involute of a pentagon means. Suppose there is a pentagonal shape that is wound with a rope whose length is equal to the parameter of the pentagon. When we unwound the rope, the path taken by the endpoint of the rope while unwounding is known as the involute. Here are the instructions. Draw an involute of a pentagon whose side length is 25 millimeters. Also, draw a normal and a tangent at any point on the involute. First, we will have to draw a pentagon whose length is 25 millimeters. Take a ruler and draw a horizontal line of 25 millimeters in length. Mark these endpoints as A and B. Next, we need to know these angles. To get this angle we need to divide 360 degrees by N, where N is the number of sides of a given polygon. Here, the number of sides is 5, therefore we have 360 divided by 5, which will be equal to 72 degrees. Therefore, this angle is 72 degrees. Take a protractor and keep it at this point, and mark a point at 72 degrees. After this, using these point as a reference, draw a line of 25 millimeters in length. Label this point as C. Next, keep the protractor at this point, and mark a point at 72 degrees. Take a ruler and using this point as a reference, draw a line of length 25 millimeters. Label this point as E. After this, take a compass, adjust it to length AB and using points C and E, as a center cut an arc as shown. Label this point as D. Join this point D to points C and E. This is our required pentagon. We will consider the endpoint of the rope to be here, and label this point as P. After this, we need to draw a line whose length should be equal to the perimeter of the pentagon. The perimeter of the pentagon is equal to 25 millimeters multiplied by the number of sides, which is 5. Which equals 125 millimeters. Draw a line of 125 millimeters, and label this endpoint as P dash. After this, take a compass, adjust it to length AB and cut arcs on this horizontal line. Label these points as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. After this, we have to extend the lines from these points. Initially, the endpoint of the string is here. When we unwound and it reaches this line, the point P will be here. When we unwound it further, point P will be here and so on. To get these points on these lines, we can plot the distance between points P and 1 on this line. Next, the distance between points P and 2 on this line and so on. Or, another simple way is this. Take a compass and adjust it to the length between points AB, and using point A, as a center draw an arc from point B to this line. Label this point as P1 dash. Next, Adjust it to the length between points E and P1 dash, and using point E as a center, draw an arc from point P1 dash to this line. Label this point as P2 dash. Next, adjust it to the length between points D and P2 dash, and using point D as a center, draw an arc from point P2 dash to this line. Label this point as P3 dash. Next, adjust it to the length between points C and P2 dash, and using point C as a center. Draw an arc from point P3 dash to this line. Label this point as P4 dash. At last, adjust the compass to the length between points B and P4 dash, and using point B as a center draw an arc from P4 dash up to this horizontal line. This is the required involute of a pentagon. After this, we need to draw a tangent and a normal at any point on this curve. Suppose we want to draw a tangent and a normal at this point. Take a ruler, and using this point as a reference, draw a line up to point D. This line will be normal at this point. After this, draw a perpendicular line to this line, which will be a tangent to this curve. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to draw an involute of a pentagon. If you like my video click on the like button, and if you enjoy learning from me, share my videos with your friends, so that I can continue providing such videos for you in the future.